PUVA therapy. So this is mainly used for the treatment of the vitiligo and um, what it does it the T lymphocyte suppression is seen in this suppression. Now looking at the uh, UV spectrum the UVA spectrum here it is about 320 to the 400 nanometers and it is used with an oral topical sorlene photosensor so sorlene photo sensitizer so this is also known as the PUVA therapy so the most commonly used oral sorlenes they are nothing but the 8 MOP that is the 8 methoxy sorlene next what we see is the 5 mop it is nothing but the 5 methoxy sorlene now we are looking at the mechanism of action mechanism so the mechanism of puva so the mechanism is nothing but the inhibition of the dna replication so the inhibition of the dna replication this is by the cross linking cross linking dna cross linking this is by the sorlene photo adux then what we see is the langerhans cell depletion then what we see is the immunosuppressive effects this is on the t lymphocyte function next would be by the stimulation of the melano genesis then what we see is there's a migration as well as restoration migration as well as the restoration this is of the th 17 as well as the regulatory t cell imbalance this is in the psoriasis now we have seen the mechanism just to recap the mechanism it is by the inhibition of the dna inhibition i'm just writing some keywords inhibition of the dna replication then the langer hand cells depletion then the immunosuppressive agents on t-cell function as well as the stimulation of the uh, melanocytes and the migration and restoration of the th17 regulated t-cell imbalance in psoriasis now we are looking at the indication where is puva indicated so puva is indicated in cases of the psoriasis it is indicated in case of atopic eczema it is indicated in case of the vitiligo as well as a polymorphic light eruption it is also seen also seen in case of the cutaneous t-cell lymphoma so the uvb is in the spectrum of 280 to 320 nm and the lamps they utilize so UVB this is a part of the spectrum of 280 to 320 and and this utilizes the lamps if you see the lamps it utilizes 311 to 313 this NM frequency and these are known as the NB UVB that is nothing but the marrow band UV marrow band UV UV therapy has a uh, anti-inflammatory it has an anti-inflammatory as well as it can have a immunosuppressive as well as a cytotoxic properties.